that. Good evening, everyone. I'm Paula Grone. First up here tonight, as Florida schools continue to figure out how to reopen next month, I-Team investigator Katie Legrone is now taking a closer look at the nurses on campus and why many schools are going to be forced to open without one. It's a place we've never been. Part of this is um, the fear of the unknown. Schools preparing to welcome back students with new rules on masks, social distancing, and which symptoms prompt rapid response. We're not going to take any chances. This is back to school amid a pandemic. We will see illness on our schools when we open them. As Florida educators iron out how to open school doors to students during a health crisis, we've learned many schools will be doing it without a full-time certified school nurse on campus. Obviously, a trained school nurse um, in whatever capacity on campus is the the best solution. Linda um, Kirshner is president of Florida's PTA. We've had an active voice on that issue probably since the early 70s. Equipping Florida schools with a full-time school nurse has been a decades-old fight. According to the Centers for Disease Control, schools should have one school nurse for every 750 students. In Florida, the latest state data shows it's one to more than 2,390 students. That doesn't surprise me at all. Um, I do know that's about what my schools consist of between the two of them. So it's not shocking to see. Catherine Burge is president-elect of Florida's Association of School Nurses and works as a certified school nurse for the Hillsborough County School District, covering two to three schools at any given time. How are we looking at returning students to schools amid a health crisis with school nurses not available at every school? School districts really need to come up with a plan in place and make sure that there is someone with a health experience in the schools. In Florida, school nurse certification is not a requirement on campus. And while many districts tout having a licensed practical nurse or LPN at each school, they lack the qualifications of a registered nurse who often cover multiple campuses at a time. There are some counties across our state that have uh, some nurses have five or six schools apiece. Lisa Kern is supervisor of health services for Pasco County Schools, where each school has an LPN and of its 45 RNs, each one covers two to three schools at a time. Times like these are when this inequity and in terms of the resources, um, a light is definitely shown on them. Um, and it reminds us all of areas that we need to definitely improve some districts now tell us they are using CARES Act funding to ramp up their roster of registered nurses. I'm my team investigator Katie Legrone taking action for you.